Hi guys, welcome to my job look update. I'm so sorry it's been so long. I've just been busy with my life and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I am finally here. This will be my 9.5 um, month job look update. Um, basically my twist and rip ones at the bottom are 9.5 and, and the neglect on the top is 6.5. Um, so yeah, at the moment I've got like my hair in my daily hairstyle, this is basically what I do every day and then if it doesn't work, plan B is like massive burn on my hair to try and hide it. So I'll turn around and show you it, it's just two plaits and then a clip. But I use like these like little plastic bands under the clip, like obviously the clip wouldn't hold it there. So yeah, it's quite pretty. Um, so yeah, you could do that, you could just have like one and then like hide it behind your ear or something, but I just um, feel like it's like off my face. And I was thinking for a while, because I do, this, I do do this every day, I was thinking that doing this is like preventing the front of it from dreading, but actually it isn't. And this plait here is like a plait of like three loose neglect dreads, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, main change is that the neglect is really starting to happen, which I'm really pleased about because if you've been watching these updates, you'll know that like two months ago it was like just normal hair um, and it was taking ages, but now it's really doing its thing and um, I will show you in a minute. Uh, so yeah, and also changes in the last month, I've taken my wraps out, my thread wraps. Um, it was actually quite easy to get out. and um, The ones that I had, I had some in previously and it took me ages to get them out, but on this I just sort of pulled it and it came out. It was more of like, you couldn't sort of just move them out the way, you had to like pull it through loops of hair. But it didn't take that long. Um, hair underneath it was okay, but I do feel like having the wraps in stopped um, some of the hair from like looping and stuff like that. So I've decided not to put any more in. Um, I also removed some of my beads because I felt like if they were in like the way of a loop, um, I just felt like I was preventing my hair from like maturing. So I've done that. Um, other changes quickly before I show you, um, my scalp got dry again, um, only at the front and it's just sort of a little bit itchy, uh, nothing like horrible and horrific um, but just enough to make it a pain because I either have my hair like this or I have it in a bun, um, there is like sort of no way to hide it at the front so um, basically what I've been doing with that is when I posted about this last time I got some advice from the awesome people at You Hippies, and um, you should check them out. And they just said that they used um, bicarbonate of soda and then just wash with water in between. And um, so I've been trying that. Um, I didn't have much luck at the moment with just using water. I found that it like didn't change anything. It was still just as itchy. Um, but I'm wondering whether after like my scalp is adjusted, I'll be able to just use water. So at the moment. I've been using, I got this bicarbonate of soda. Now on like YouTube videos, people are saying all the time like, oh bicarbonate soda is so cheap, blah blah blah. It actually isn't in the shops that I've been into. Like for example, when I'm at home, we normally shop at Waitrose, which is like our nearest shop. And there, like a thing of it is like one pound something. It's like quite, I would say it's quite expensive for what it is. I've also looked in Tesco's, I think it was Sainsbury's, and it's quite expensive, but I got this one from Nisa, and this was 59p, so I got two of them. And I think there's about, about three washes in that. And I've just been like putting it in this jug, and then like filling it up in the shower, and then like, as you can see it's wet and then like pouring it onto different sections of my head because the first time I did it I just dumped it over the top and then I wasn't sure that it got like in all the different places so yeah I'll update you how I'm doing with this I'm gonna try and do it for at least a month because I know it takes some time but so far it's, it's been actually quite good and um, I've not really had like a sort of set time of when I wash my hair like I'm not someone who goes like I wash my hair every three days religiously I just wash it 
when it needs it, but when it needs it, it's generally like every other day at the moment. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's everything in terms of what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so I'll take this out. Actually, one of the things I'm surprised about, well not necessarily surprised about, but when I've been using the um, bicarbonate soda, um, my hair is like gone wavy and like my hair isn't actually wavy. Well, it hasn't been before when I was like using regular shampoo and stuff in the past. So that's quite nice. I also find um, that I think is quite cool. Um, it's like, you know, when the hair loops like this, when it's more just like a, a zigzag, it actually looks like your hair is curly and I think that's like super cool. Right. So yeah, this is my hair. Um, so this is like neglect, this is new. I've got like, the front is like, it is knotted at the bottom. I was looking in this mirror. Uh, this is neglect that's decided to appear. Don't know how well you can see these things. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's all started like separating into its own little thingamajigs. That is neglect, which is like super cool because they're like proper established. In fact, in sort of like two months of progress, they've nearly like matched um, the nine and a half months ones. Uh, when I, what I mean by two months is like before that they weren't doing anything. So uh, yeah, I'll show you the back in a minute. So these like little ones are like getting fatter and fatter. Sorry, I'm like looking at them. Uh, yeah, a lot of them like still looping back, getting shorter and shorter. Um, a lot of the sort of long ones, not this one obviously, but a lot of the ones like this have now started going crazy. Um, if something else interesting. I mean, this is all neglect. Uh, I'm like really happy with how it is at the moment. I feel like it's kind of wild, but still quite like sort of tame, if you know what I mean. I'm sort of hoping, I'm getting caught on my earring. Oh, I got these new earrings, which are proper cool. They're like wooden spiral things. I might make a video about my ear stretching because I haven't really talked about it before. Uh, So yeah, it's like really starting to knot up at the back. I mean, I, I definitely think it looks a lot different how it used to. I can see that it's really progressed. Um, definitely like a lot more separate, if you know what I mean. Um, I did find before I switched to bicarbonate soda, like it would be all separate like this, and then I'd have a shower, and it wouldn't necessarily, not necessarily that the knots would fall out, but it would just be more like smooth and nice. So after a shower, it would kind of just look like dreadlocks and then just like patches of normal hair. It just looked a bit weird. But with the bicarbonate soda, it's been staying with its friends. So yeah. Hopefully that's worked a bit. Uh, so yeah, if you've got like any questions about them or what I've been doing, um, I do have like a video where I had like information about them. Why is that noise? Um, <laughs> I had like information about them, but I don't know. I need to revisit it because I don't know whether some of it's a bit out of date now. Like, cause I've sort of changed what I'm doing, but I'm still just washing it separating it in fact I'm, I'm not even separating it as much as I used to um, just because it sort of was being a bit of a pain sorry about that I've got a text yay 
Hey, um, so yeah, if anything, I'll try not to make it so long before the next update. I'll try and get it back on like months, so it'll probably be in like two weeks time and it'll be like pointless, but whatever. Um, so yeah. Whee. Um, cool. Thank you for watching. Um, also, if you're watching this video and then you decide to subscribe or you're a new subscriber to my channel, it'll kind of be useful as like a bit of like an experiment, is if you just post on the video which like made you subscribe because I've got, I've started picking up more subscribers but I don't know whether they're subscribing because they want to see my Jedlock updates or they're subscribing because they want to see Mortal 4 or whether they've seen my new video about my studio flat and they're subscribing because they want to know about uni stuff so I don't really know what you guys are looking to see from me so if like you're a new subscriber or something maybe you can just go back to the video which made you click subscribe and just put like I subscribe because of this something I, I just assume that everyone wants to know about the dreadlock updates I didn't really think my Rotor 4 ones were that popular but yeah let me know because I don't want to put up videos that are boring like whatever I'll just put up anything okay thank you for watching bye bye